Hello to everyone. Today we are in a beautiful forest, as you know, morel season has begun. We said let's go out and have a look. Normally, we waited last week, but it just rained. Today is April 21st. We've been looking around for 15 minutes, it must have rained a little this year in the rain, but, the rain that fell two, three days ago made the places wet, the soil is moist. Finally we got our share. Two, they're hiding here. We'll take these guys, as you know, I will try to get liquid micellar from this. Morel is a bit sensitive, you can't get a sample from all over the morel. As you know, mushrooms are hollow. This is where it has the meatiest texture, the root part, so I'll take these with the roots. I hope it doesn't have a hole, so a spider or any insect didn't get into it. Because if you're trying to culture tissue from a sample with a hole, 99% chance you will fail. Therefore, it is very important to take them together with the root. I'll clean this up later, now this place is not available anyway, I'll collect these in a box. We'll see, hopefully we'll be successful. If we're successful, how did I get them into the culture, I will also do video footage of it, how I inoculated the grain spawn, I will show them too. But the important thing is, to obtain a clean culture, first. If I get that too, I plan to share my work on it with you. We found eight mushrooms. These first three are escalenta. We call yellow morel. They are a bit nice. These two so this, these must be called black morel, probably elata. Our mushrooms are not that fresh, but I think it will give us the opportunity to take tissue cultures. I need to clean and process these immediately, without wasting time. Here I put similar mushrooms together and took pictures. I will need these photos in the future. The technique we will apply is the biopsy technique. We do not need an air filter in this biopsy technique. We do it quickly and see our work. First we attach our needle to our syringe, we need to draw some nutrient fluid. This green tipped needle on the left is 21 g, the right one is 18 g. The mouth diameter of the green tipped one is 0.80 mm, 1.20 mm of the one on the right. So it is easier to take tissue culture with the pink tipped one, that's why I'm using this. Before starting the biopsy procedure, take a mushroom in your hand. Try it a few times with needles. Cultivation processes do not accept errors, so insert the needle a few times, no, you cannot do it. You will insert the needle once. If you don't get it, you throw away that needle and use a new one. I used exactly 18 needles during this work. Let me point this out here too. It may not always be one at a time, I mean it. We changed the needles, I already cleaned the mushroom. Now where can we find the thickest, texture? Of course, near the root, I'll try to get a piece there. We will enter right in the middle of this stem wall, we must not go outside or inside. 
In other words, we will take a sample from a place that has never been in contact with air before. For easier understanding, let's show it on the graphic picture. We should take this from the places I marked with red. Because this place did not come into contact with the air neither from the outside nor from the inside, so the most sterile area of the fungus is only this area for us. We sample again, and change the needle. Let's change this needle. It can touch our hand, it can touch our glove, it can touch the outer surface or the inner outer surface of the mushroom. In this case, we must change it. As I said, I used exactly 18 needles at this stage. You see the white pieces, see they are floating. Same with the other jar. These are the tissue cultures we took with the biopsy technique. They're in this liquid of ours be mixing it daily with a magnetic stirrer. Hyphae will be formed, in a week or two, we will have enough hyphae to be seen with the naked eye. That is, we will have a mycelium, more precisely, then we'll squeeze them into the petri dish for test, we will see the growth of mycelium there, is there mold or not. We will also count foreign particles, bacteria under the microscope. The important thing here is to develop mycelium. If we are successful, we will have more different studies on morels. I hope to publish them. Thanks for watching. See you again.